Hey everybody, Jeremy here, and today I want to do a little experiment. It's come to my attention that there is a new app in Google Play right now called Cedar that supposedly removes all lag from rooted Android devices. Now when I heard about this, I thought, could it be? Could someone actually have figured out a way to eliminate one of the most persistent problems that has been available in Android since day one? Is it possible? Is it true? Not too sure. When I go to the Google Play Store and check it out, I see that it's $1.49. And then after that, I'm thinking, well, this is probably snake oil. Some guy has just come up with some app that does something, and people are saying, oh my god, my device runs so much faster than it usually does, but in reality, it doesn't. A placebo effect. But I want to find out for myself if Speeder actually works. And we are all going to see that together. I have here my rooted Nexus 7. Haven't done anything with this device besides use it every day like any, anyone else would uh, use an electronic device. One thing that I did do is that I cleared my cache so that when I do a test without Cedar that you're going to see in a second, we'll be able to compare the speed differences. So first let's just go down into the settings and we are going to look at the storage just so we can see that the cache is stored. Uh, this video is not going to have any edits, no jump cuts, nothing like that. We are all going to sit here together and see if this works. So uh, if you have an Android device, in particular the Nexus 7, and you go to check to see how much storage you have, it usually takes a second. So we are going to sit here for as long as it takes so that we can see the amount of space that the cache data is taking up. Now you see here, one point three nine megabytes let's just bring that up one point three nine megabytes right there All right let's set it back down okay so now we're just gonna uh, do some random test we're gonna open up some apps and we're gonna see if there's any lag now I have noticed lag when opening uh, apps with my Nexus 7 for quite some time so we're gonna see how it all works now first let's open up Google Play Store Not much lag there through opening uh, Google Play, so let's back out. Uh, how about Chrome? Not much lag there. Type in a URL, sure. Let's check out some news, right? Uh, let's just do some CNN. Why not? We're going to go to CNN and we're going to just kind of scroll around, see if there's any lag in here. Okay, so we're doing this, we're pinching and we're zooming. We're moving all about. Uh, let's open up another one. A little bit of lag there, but nothing too bad. Uh, let's go to um, do, 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 do. let's go to Gamertel, yeah. Open up in another tab for some reason. Uh, yeah, let's just go to the the full site, not the not the mobile site. Alright, so wait for the whole page to load up, but so far seems to be there's some lag here. Yeah, there are there is some lag, little stutters, you know, but the page is still loading. Alright, let's just leave Chrome. Let's open up something else. Uh how about Falcon Pro, one of the coolest Twitter apps available for Android right now? You see there was a little bit of a lag there. Uh, let's open up uh, Google Reader. Let's see how that fares. Alright, Google Reader opens. Let's back out of that. How about Flipboard? Mm-hmm. Flipboard seems to be okay. I'll back out of that and Spotify. Spotify seems all right, and just the general app drawer moving about. So you know, as you can see from this, it's not that bad. I have noticed there there has been some lag on occasion, uh, especially you know if I try to go back into Chrome and it might take a minute or not a minute, you know, just like a second or two. There's Play Store. You know, everything seems to be opening uh, just fine right now. There's Instagram. Uh, YouTube. Now, 
not that bad. So I'm going to buy Cedar right now and we're going to see how much faster uh, things actually are. So I have my desktop uh, or my laptop right next to me and I am clicking on it. This file is a 700 570 uh, kilobyte file. Uh, actually, before I uh, install it, let me just tell you what Cedar says it does. Um, it says that, uh, quote, many Android tasks run much slower than they should do for one simple but not so obvious reason. They read random data from a limited blocking random source or random device. Random data is used to generate session keys and UUIDs in SSL and frequently during inter-process communication. The data entropy runs out frequently and that causes any process reading from the blocking device to stop responding. In other words, that's lag. These processes cannot continue until the Linux kernel repopulates the, entro the entropy, I can't talk, entropy pool, I can't say that word, which takes time. All right. I don't know what any of that means. All I know is that I'm going to buy this app for $1.50 and if I do not see an immediate change, I am going to refund my money. So here we go. I just click buy and it should be popping up on my Android device in a second. So here we go. There's Cedar. It's already downloaded and it is installing. This is rooted by the way. Uh, let's just click on it. Ironically, there seems to be some lag in between there, but program's not yet running. Let it do its thing. It's probably going to ask for root permissions, and if it does, I will grant it root permissions. Is it going to do anything, or do I? Oh, okay, here we go. So it's now off. So once I tap this, it will enable RNGD Entropy Cedar. Uh, yeah, go ahead. All right, so it's now on. Uh, let's check out the settings. Oh, would you look at that? There is lag trying to get to the settings. Oh, wow. Does my eyes deceive me? I'm still trying to go to the settings and nothing is happening. Hmm. Well, let's just back out of this. Okay, now it's, uh, it's requesting super user permissions now. Uh, Let's grant it. Okay, maybe I should have just waited for a second. Okay, it has been granted. Oh, there's my Google Play email telling me I bought it. Okay, so now it has been granted super user permissions. Maybe that was the hold up. So now things seem to be going a little bit faster. We're going to settings. Is anything going to pop up? Are there any settings? Or is it just there by default? Well, maybe it's just there by default. Anyway, let's go home. All right, so uh, let's check out some stuff now. Uh, Google Play. Mm. Google Chrome. Hmm. I'm going around CNN. Let's just reload the page. Let's see what we got here. Now I don't know if uh, the lag was just for the interface or if if, we're, if it's just across the board. I'm imagining across the board. Let's go back home. Ooh, that wasn't too good right there. It wasn't all too pleasant. Uh, Falcon Pro. Hmm. Uh, let's go into the settings. Let's try to do some stuff in settings and see how much faster things are. I don't know, guys. Look at this. Look. See what I'm doing? Look. Did you see that? Okay. Uh, yeah, about tablet. Mm-hmm. Um, date and time. Let's go to the storage again. I'm going to clear the cache once again, and we're going to see how well things work out. So far, I am 9 minutes and 22 seconds in, and quite honestly, I am not really seeing a difference in how this app Cedar is performing on on my device it is rooted as you saw it had super user permissions i gave it a pass because i think i was trying to do some stuff before it was actually fully implemented but uh, <laughs> all right this is taking too long let's just go back home there's even more lag i'm trying to i push the home button and things are taking longer than they should um let's go to google earth You 
know what? Let's leave Google Earth. I don't want anybody to see where I live. Yeah, this this does not fare well for uh, this device here. Um, currents. So far, it just seems to be behaving in a way that's very similar to what I am used to. See, I just tried to go back from Eurogamer and nothing's happening. It's just kind of hanging. It makes me think that the device is about to restart itself. Hmm. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, there was some lag there too. Let's see what else we can get into, guys, because I am not I am not really feeling this. Um Messenger, there's maps. Uh tune in radio pro. And then I decide, oh, let's go back home. I don't know about you guys, but that, that seems like lag to me. Um I don't want to call this I'm not saying that it's a scam because there are plenty of of reviews in Google Play that are saying oh wow this this really has sped up my device so much and this is just so amazing and this is awesome and everything like that but as you can see through here I am not really getting that I'm clicking on apps and the speed in between me touching it and uh, leaving the app it doesn't seem to be any difference Bef you know from now since you know before I even installed this app and in fact going home actually takes a little longer you know I'm gonna go into Google Play I'm gonna search for this app and I am going to request my refund I have nothing against I have nothing against uh, this developer at all it just seemed like an extraordinary claim and I was hoping for a uh, uh, immediate and noticeable result uh, but unfortunately uh, that is not something that I got um, performance wise everything still seems to be the same you know I can still you know Chrome still has that startup lag you know but if anything going back home seems to be faster before uh, where did I I went to Flipboard was it no no it was Google Currents I went to Google Currents before and then you know, when I left, there was a little bit of a lag there, and now, as you can see, things, for some reason, <laughs> they seem to be going a little bit faster now. If I wanted to start up Netflix, and then decide I don't want to do Netflix no more, go back home, and then it goes back home. Uh, what else did I go to? I went to the Play Store, it has that slight boot up lag, don't want to go back, and then I go back. There's Falcon Pro, that startup lag again. I think Falcon Pro is trying to load. <laughs> ah, there it is. You know, I, I have not seen any significant improvement at all. Uh, maybe this app works for you, but it does not work for me. So I can only say that the lag is still present at least you know in small bits it's see there there's even some right here and it just kind of you know goes to show me that there is no I, I don't know if there's a I don't know of any solution the lag was there before I downloaded the app the lag is there after I download the app it's not terrible lag I'm trying to rush around and just do things but through casual usage of using my Nexus 7 through the lag that you see here it's still is a uh, wow this is some really bad lag going on now now I'm a little bit worried <laughs> yeah there is a uh, there's some decent lag going on right now even trying to go back home there's some lag I don't know what has happened I'm going to restart the device and then maybe hopefully everything uh, will be better again but as far as downloading cedar you know you can do it for yourself if you have a rooted Android device and just uh, see if it works for you but as you can tell has not worked for me so I don't know it's all up to you